Hi guys, welcome back to the Department of Filtration. Today we're going to be looking at a the Sierra 18-7896 marine oil filter. Uh, it's just a brand from Super Cheap. I think it suits a few different outboard motors. Uh, it's got some applications there on the top. I'm not really familiar with a whole lot of marine stuff, but I'm interested to see what this is like since it costs quite a bit uh, for what appears to be just a basic oil filter. About 20 bucks this was. Uh, so what have we got on the box? It says 20 micron filtration. Doesn't give me any efficiency numbers anywhere though. I couldn't find any. It just says 20 micron. High pleat count. More pleats, more capacity. Rugged construction and meets OEM spec. Any drain back valve high efficiency protection made in Taiwan. So let's see what we got. So we got a full plastic wrap to start with, which is good. Take that off. Now I did a bit of research about what makes a marine oil filter special and according to a lot of people it is apparently that it's, they're meant to have a really good paint job on them so that the salt water doesn't rust it before it's service interval. And I can sort of feel these, these numbers, you sort of, you can almost see that they're, they're like you can actually feel them painted on there, it's quite thick. So we got Ridden Premium Marine Oil Filter. Instructions there. Date code. Oh, that means 07 in terms of 2007 and I'd be a little bit worried about the quality of what's in there. But anyway, it could very well be the year 20. Should be a bit more reasonable. Sierra Marine engine and dry parts of the big boat. So, we got an O ring here. That's nice. It sort of feels like, well, I think it's rubber. It sort of feels a bit more uh, sort of hard and plasticky. Not sure, I, don't, I guess that might be some part of the marine sort of think about salt water and that it might make a rub, normal rubber go hard. So that might very well be why that feels a bit sort of hard and plasticky. But it's got that nice lip there, sits in under the, under the edge there, keeps that in. And our eight inlet holes. And considering that paint is meant to be a big deal, it's a bit of a worry that that paint doesn't even go all the way to that edge because even if that's pressed up against the, the, the filter head, then it's going to start to rust along there, especially if you get water caught down in there. But we'll get this cut open and have a look at what we got. Alrighty, so we got this cut open. Uh, take another look at the base plate here. So we got four threads. Pretty nice and clean now. I think the size of the inlet holes and that's pretty fair for the size of the filter. 
it's a nice base but I don't think there's any issues with that there Got out any drain back valve there. Fits over our edge there. On the filter base, that's quite loose. That's pretty disappointing. That would not. It would be easy for that to sit off center in the filter can. Um, just like that and you would never know that it was off center but it seems that it would seal against the inlet holes just that fitment's a bit disappointing but that's not the end of the world now what do we got here <coughs> element and the coil spring now I can start to see already what they mean about the can being a, a important part of a marine filter I don't know if you can in hear the difference in that that's quite heavy this is just a random cane end filter. I'll give you an idea of what the thickness is like on a sort of regular filter. We're up around 0 0.5, 0 0.6 which is fairly standard. We'll have a look at the Sierra. We're looking more towards 0 0.6, 0 0.7, but I can feel quite a difference. It must also be the paint, as well as the can. And it's got a bit of a different finish inside than normal. It's quite nice in there. So there's definitely, that's hard to squish. There's definitely something there in the can. Can and possibly the paint as well. That's making this special for a marine application. That's nice. And we've got our coil spring. It's good to see, and that's quite a decent spring too, to give you. What are we looking at? We have two point four. Big thick coil spring. Give us a good amount of pressure there. That's really strong. And our filter element, nice metal end caps, coil spring for a bypass valve down there, beautiful even pleat spacing, and <coughs> it's like a metal core with holes. Very clean. Just trying to look here for a seam. We'll find it when we cut open, but that's quite impressive actually. It's a nice, very clean, nice pleats. Nice canister there for it to sit in. The only thing there at the moment is a bit of a shame is the fitment on the anti drain back valve, but we'll get this get this element cut open and see what we're looking at. Right, yeah, we got that cut out and we do have a inside glued seam there. That was glued like that until I ripped it apart. Seems to be fairly good. It's folded over a few times, stopped the leaks. Now you can see a little bit of a glimmer on there. I think it might be 
No, I don't reckon it's semi synthetic, it's just. It's just standard cellulose. So there's about 1.5 metres there. And in terms of width, 53 mil. So that's not a bad amount of filter media there for the size filter is. It will take a sample of this and have a look at it under the microscope. <laughs> Alright guys, so you've seen that there. That's pretty good media I reckon. It's just standard cellulose but it doesn't look bad at all. That'll do the job for just a basic filter like this. And one thing I noticed when we were cutting this open, first of all, I got a good amount of glue. And I like everything about this filter, apart from two things. The first is this, and the second is the fact that this core has holes instead of louvers and this core is an absolute great example why that might be bad especially on certain brands I don't know if you guys can see that but you can see how rough these edges of the holes are like look at that one there can pretty much cut myself on that pretty easy that's sticking out you can see it on, along the top there that they're sticking out and up past the hole. Almost every single one of these holes. Now, to understand what I'm about to say, you need to understand something about the way that oil passes through the filter. And the thing is that when they do, let's grab a bit of this. When the oil does pass through the filter, the teats tend to pleat, sorry. So they're in there like that. And the oil is under a fair bit of pressure. Now, when you put something under under that pressure and, and that, it's going to, and the oil's moving around, it's, it's going to want to do that. Now, I don't have any videos of that, but if you look up, like a oil filter test or something on YouTube and you get a video of a clear one and see the oil flowing through you can see clearly the depletes move even one ones like this where they're nicely glued they just move a little bit some people like Caterpillar they actually put wrap around the outside of the filter element and glue them to each one to stop it moving if you're that like Donaldson Fleet Guard, you get some with glue around the outside or just other straps to stop help helping it stop moving and flexing so much. But if you see these holes, I'm just gonna tear that in half. Now imagine that moving back and forth like that over those holes. Assuming you service your car every six months or a year, doing that every day for six months, you can see on the edge of that there, I'm already starting to get it a bit damaged. You can see that damage there over time. Those pleats are just going to move with the oil pressure. Evidently, you'll get holes in your media, it'll get damaged. Oil's just going to go straight through the holes in your media, not filter anything, go straight back into your engine. That's why I don't like holes instead of louvers. And this oil filter is an almost perfect example of that. I would really like to see one of these Sierra oil filters after it's been in service for a complete service interval. If any of my viewers out there have an outboard or something with one of these on it, I wouldn't mind seeing one. I don't, I don't really know anyone with boats or anything like that.
so I'm probably not going to be able to find one, but this is really worrying to me. So, all up, I was originally quite impressed with this filter. It's got a nice solid base plate, gasket with a lip, any drain back valve that all should do its job. Nice metal core, metal end caps, coil spring, decent amount of media. I really like the can. <coughs> very nice and thick. Definitely marine grade. Very good paint as well. But these holes are really letting that down, especially just with the quality. It's just come loose. Well, I'm glued around that itch there. Anyway, that's on the clean side of the media, so it shouldn't be that bad. Uh, these holes, just a real letdown in terms of the manufacturing quality there. It doesn't mean holes are always bad. But in this particular instance, they're done very badly. If this was made the other way out, don't know if you can see down in there, the holes on the inside, they look perfect, they look nice. There's nothing sticking up there, but they've sort of punched the holes through one side, just left one side nice and the other side a bit sticking out. And they put the bit sticking out on the filter media side, which is its fatal flaw. If they had to just roll this the other way, Instead of going round this way, if they went round that way, this would have been a fabulous oil filter. So there you have it. There's the that's what's in and makes a marine oil filter different. And that's the Sierra oil filter.